Hey Dad, there's a lot of different things out there for what COVID-19 stands for. Can you tell everyone what it really stands for? That's a great question, Sally. I'd love to. So on February 11th of this year, the World Health Organization picked COVID-19 as the name for the disease that's caused by the new coronavirus. They have rules about how they pick those names. We know for a fact that those names can't represent a geographic region. There's a rule against them being named after an animal or an individual person or a group. And ideally, these names will transcend time. So we'll always know that COVID-19 is a coronavirus and it started in 2019. So the World Health Organization did a great job by naming Corona virus disease, which started in 2019, COVID-19. Now, one of the reasons why you hear so many different names being called is that people just get tongue-tied and they make a mistake. And that's okay. We should probably just forgive that. The second reason is that you hear people talking about it that are ignorant. They really don't know anything about viruses or diseases, how you stop the spread or what you should do. So probably should ignore those people. The third reason is perhaps even the most dangerous. And so if you hear folks calling it certain things that single out groups or things of that nature, that is a person showing you a little bit of the bias that they carry around with them every day. And so now you know the real story behind COVID-19. And I want to thank everybody for tolerating my doctor's handwriting. I think my handwriting is pretty good for a doctor, but then that's just my bias showing. <laughs>